Hi, my name is Micah, and I've been involved with the BIRD project since inception in 2004, and I hope you find this video informative. Today we're going to talk about the order of BIRD events. It is important to understand this in order to figure out where and when to write your code to customize your BERT reports. First, I'd like to discuss the high-level BERT architecture. In the BERT report designer, you create your BERT designs. The BERT designer uses the Design Engine API to create the RPT design file. Everything you do in the BERT designer, whether it's through dragging and dropping from the palette, or you're building data sources and data sets, the Design Engine API writes to the RPT design file. Once a report is complete and you need to generate it, the BERT engine uses the generation phase to create the RPT document. This is the report output. Once a report document is created, the BERT engine will use the presentation phase to create the specific outputs, whether it's HTML, PDF, or others. This is done using the emitters. During the generation and presentation phases, you can customize how the BERT report behaves using Java and JavaScript events. Typically, the generation phase and the presentation phase are two separate tasks. You can have the generation phase and the presentation phase in a single task However, that is highly discouraged. So how does the BERT engine fire off the events? In what order? Well, let's first talk about the generation phase. The first event that gets called is the initialize event of the report. That, in turn, will call the onPrepare event of the report, which will, in turn, call the onPrepare of the master page. Then the onPrepare of your table which will call the onPrepare of the row within that table, and then it will call the onPrepare for each data item within that row. Then the before factory gets called, which will in turn call the onCreate of the master page. Only after the onCreate of the master page do, does the data set kick in. So the generation phase will then call the before open, the after open, and then the onFetch of the data set. Once the data is fetched, the onCreate of the table will get called, which will in turn call the onCreate of the row, which will in turn call the onCreate for onCreate of every data item within that row. Once all the rows have been created, the before close and the after close of the data set will be called, and lastly, the after factory will get called. There are a couple important things I'd like to point out here. First, note that all the onPrepare events get called before the data gets fetched. The onPrepare events thus do not have access to any data items. Additionally, it's important to note that the onCreate of the master page gets called only once, again, before data is fetched. So if you need the, uh, the master page to behave differently depending on the page number, you need to use page variables. Let's now talk about the presentation phase. Again, at the presentation phase, the first event that gets called is the initialize event. Then the before render of the report, which will call the on render of the master page, which will in turn call the on render of the table, which will in turn call the on render of the row, and then it will call the on render for each data item within that row and then lastly it will call the after render of the presentation phase. Another important thing to note here is that the initialize method gets called twice. Once in the beginning of the generation phase and again in the beginning of the presentation phase. Thus it's discouraged to put any code on the initialize event unless it's something that you want to execute twice. There are also events that get called within a loop. For example, the onFetch method will get called continuously until fetch returns null, and thus it knows that's the end of the answer set. Additionally, 
on the onCreate method. Once I create, I call the onCreate for every data item within the row, it will then call the onCreate of the next row, and that will again be called in a loop until all the rows are created for the report. Similarly, the on render of the data item, once it's actually get, after the last data item within a row, it'll then call the on render of the next row, and thus that will be in a loop until all the rows are rendered. I hope you found this presentation very informative, and thank you very much.